Hey, folks. Hey, Steve. Hey, hey Shoshank, how you doing? Hi, how's it going, guys? Justin said he probably, uh, Justin Cormack said he probably won't make it. Um, just check okay. find some other stuff. We had a quick chat this morning and I'll update folks. Do we know if Justin Kappos is coming? Because presumably we're discussing his PR, no? I, well, he, he already gave me the feedback last week. It wasn't so much um, discussing the PR, it was just taking the scenarios that he wrote up last week and uh, reformatting them and putting them in. I'd asked him to if he wanted to do the PR himself and he was suggesting that it was, he's just really busy and it was fine if I just took his content and reframed it as the PR. Because the he, his content couldn't be merged as is. There was some stuff that shuffled underneath him. Got it. So I wanted to give him the option to kind of owning the PR so it had his uh, name to it. And he says it's, it's no big deal. So just we'll wait a couple of minutes for others to join. By the way, I think the couple of folks in the <clears throat> the other Zoom, I just came from there. Okay. Yeah, I was just posting the link on there. Um, can I jump over there? Can somebody jump over there and just say, hey, we're over here? I'll, I'll do that. Thank you. You know, I'm just putting the meeting notes in here, so give me a second. March 2nd, wow. And let's see. All right, let me know when whoever popped over to let others know this back. And chat. Right, thank you, Radu. So Radu just put the uh, link in there for the notes just for everybody. Um, let's see. So who was it that popped over just so I make sure the person that volunteered gets back? Oh, that's me. I'm sorry, who was that? Brandon. Oh, hey, thanks, Brandon. No worries. All right, why don't we, um, we don't have a, a rich agenda today, so if others have other content, um, when you take the better part of a day for an off, uh, an on-site, off-site, uh, off to be on, I, things get a little backed up, but I do have a couple of updates. So let me go through here. Where was I just doing that? If anybody has anything else, please pop it on the agenda and we can talk about that as well. Um, so last week we had uh, several folks here. We've been popping back and forth across the lake. This time it was over at the AWS offices and the notes are in here in you know, just below from last week. Um, we spent most of the time um, really kind of focusing on what is the name of the things that we want to 
to um, sign and how do we refer to them. So that was the uh, biggest set of items. Um, and you could see kind of the, the notes that are in there that kind of surrounded that. Uh, I don't say we clipped, came to closure on it per se. Uh, we were coming up with basically two options. And when I refer to a name, I actually, um, what I'm referring to is how do we, uh, you know, when you think of an image or any artifact in a registry, it's a made up of the domain name for the registry, uh, some kind of org representation, and org could be a company or an individual registry. And of course, we know there's two different types. There's the unique name is in the registry URL, um, such as an ACR, and I, I, I always forget what it's, I think it's ECR also does this, where the domain name is actually part of what makes it unique. And then other registries, uh, which I believe is GCR and Docker Hub, where the first node of the namespace is what makes it unique. Uh, and that's what uh, GitHub registry actually does as well. Um, and then you have some kind of path uh, that can be varying levels of depth, depending on the registry as well. And then there is the repo and a tag. And in fact, if we look at the artifacts, let me just bring it up and I'll uh, paste it in here. Notary project uh, under requirements. We have uh, definitions and terms. Uh, and, oh, that's right, I gotta come over here. Just uh, paste it in here. That what we've done, and we just try to break that up for the sake of, uh, uh, you know, uh, common syntax and the uh, we have this thing at the top but just because I kind of made it alphabetic in the definitions and terms where the repo and tag is the thing we would kind of refer to the thing uh, like the Ubuntu 1404 uh, image that's kind of how we refer to it and then what namespace it's in is relative to each registry. Uh, we had a basically what it came down to is a debate of do we need that name to be locked uh, so people, when they say the Ubuntu 1404 uh, image, that that's what it means, or do we need to support workflows where it might be 1404 uh, dash dev, dash prod, dash uh, uh, so forth. And if we do make that renameable, then we need the name of some sort inside the manifest as another, op, uh, another I don't want to say annotation, but as another element, uh, which we might want to do anyway. And there was some uh, conversation of the name could actually be uh, a name that has nothing to do with the registry. Um, it's just a name, you know, a reverse DNS kind of lookup. So where we left off was uh, hopefully uh, Sam was going to have some time to write this up before he takes a well-deserved vacation. And we will basically have some conversation around those two things. Um, oh, Sam's actually here. Sam, did you want to speak to that? I don't see a mic on him, so I'll give him a minute to jump on. But basically, uh, if he has a chance, we were going to write that up before he's, uh, I guess, I've taken some vacation, and we'll go from there. Um, we wanted to basically have something written up to have the next several conversations before we try to make any proposals one way or the other. So that was the main meat of the conversation. Um, we also had the CNAB folks give a presentation on some of the stuff that they've been doing, um, which I think aligned pretty well with the work we had done so far. So I saw it all, um, you know, very supportive and in the same direction. Uh, there were some questions around certain elements, but I think we were in, wound up on the same page. And Radu, if you can speak up to anything that I'm missing there, because uh, I think with Trishank we were discussing something about the way the root signing certs and so forth were covered but i think we agree that the the scenario would be covered in the in the when we move into the design that you can have something signed with the root moved it um uh, into different repo into different registries and repos yeah the only outstanding uh discussion item that we are uh taking for notary v2 is how we do delegations right now in notary and that's something that we're going to open an issue for this week oh, right. on the requirements repo thanks okay so that was uh, the majority of it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else per se. Does anybody else, does anything else? 
uh, we were talking about the next steps from there. Um, and there was two main uh, work. I'm, I'm just scrolling around here by my notes for a second. There we go. Okay. So, um, like I said, so Sam took the note to, um, <laughs> I see Sam typing in a phone number. I'm guessing he was, he was late because he missed something there. So thank you, Sam. Uh, that we will yep. uh, merge in the scenarios that Justin Capos had provided on some of the security aspects. Uh, and I was going to work on those this morning, but I'll get to those later today and uh, Sam to write up the things we just talked about on the naming parts. The, um, so that was that. Uh, so that's the first item for last week's onsite. And I thank those that were dialed in to have the patience for working remotely on that. Any other topics on that before I move on to the SBOM conversation? Um, so the SBOM stuff, and I'm, I'm making a, a deliberate point of doing the software bill of materials uh, with the lowercase o to be more generic um, so that we are not necessarily uh, aligning or endorsing or anything at this point with one particular implementation because there's a couple of different efforts going on. Uh, there is a definite, you know, work group uh, that's been referred to as the 3T SBOM work group uh, with a Upper, all uppercase, uh, and they're making some pretty good progress across the various clouds and groups uh, involved. And uh, the Intoto folks have been working there as well. So the, the main part that I've been just trying to make sure is uh, there's a doc I referred to called separation of concerns, whereas uh, just kind of using the standard terminology there is from a notary project, I'm hoping we're focused on signing things and not really caring what the things are. Um, and by signing things, we can say that the thing that came out of this registry is what it claims to be until you don't trust the entity that signed the thing that, that you're looking at. Um, and when I say don't trust the entity, you know, it might be a trustable entity, but the entity of, or the key that it was signed with uh, was compromised in some fashion. In fact, that's the stuff that Justin Capos had written up that I'll merge into our uh, scenarios. And then we were thinking about how to split them up into requirements and um, uh, the, uh, the threat, threat model stuff. So we wanted to take that content and kind of split it up amongst those. Um, and then if the 3T SBOM happens to be a, a format that lots of people endorse and like, uh, then they can push things into the registry and we'll know that's a 3T SBOM. And then other projects, whether it be OPA or other policy managers can leverage that because they're gonna know what that format is. Um, but just to pick on another example, which may, may align or may not, it doesn't really matter. The point is there'll be different formats. And let's just say that uh, Red Hat's format that they've been working on, they decide to use that and that's perfectly fine as well. From a notary, we would just sign each one of those artifacts uh, and then those projects are then enabled by having a common means into a registry. So the conversations I've been having with Kay and um, into that format, Kay Williams is more of, hey, are we still thinking that the output is um, a document of some sort? And that SBOM would be a document that we would put in the registry alongside the things that it's uh, attesting it as an SBOM of, and then notary would sign it. Um, and then the consumption of it would be able to make sense of these various formats because they'll say that they are a 3T SBOM or a Red Hat SBOM and so forth. So that's, again, um, just making sure that we're scoped. And of course, we're having the same conversations uh, in the notary conversations is how far should we go on having specific annotations that um, suggest it may or may not be a particular um, uh, you know, or some content, like what's the amount of content we have in a manifest or in a notary content uh, that doesn't, that has the appropriate overlap and maybe not too much overlap and say, look, that's really uh, an SBOM and we should lean into that as well. 
so that's again that's kind of the scope there any questions or other thoughts on that it's not the quiet group today that's strange No, this is Vincent. I'm no, no particular questions on that. So. Right. Hey, Vincent, welcome back from vacation. <laughs> um, and then the last one, and like I said, this was just a quick summary this week because we didn't have a particular uh, discussion. This is more just giving a quick status of where we are on things. Uh, one of the things we've been all been talking about is how can we make more progress on you know, the notary work? And uh, when Justin popped on this morning saying that he didn't think he was going to make the call, one of the things he was just kind of renewing that conversation of can we uh, start to break off into separate groups. I'm hoping with uh, the scenarios and we start to have the threat models in place that we can start to execute on like how are we going to do some of these things? How are we going to uh, move content between registries into uh, air gapped environments and still know that we can trust them. And if we're moving something into an air gap environment, what happens with the signature and when does the key and so forth get moved with it uh, so that you can still validate that thing within the air gap environment. Um, and then there was the, uh, um, you know, revocation conversations also. And is that really part of notary? Is that part of key management? So those are all the kind of things that we want to be able to start making more progress on. Um, that's about as far as we've gotten the conversation. Um, I had just asked him like, if he had any other thoughts around who and when um, we could uh, start those conversations. We didn't get that far yet. Um, so that's kind of the next set of conversations I hope we'll get going is what are those individual working groups and uh, the forums for people to jump on those and participate. Um, so that's, that's basically where we're at on that one. Um, I, I was th hoping that we could have some, uh, framing of that, but that literally was a scrambling this morning of, Hey, what do we want to talk about? Um, and we didn't, you know, obviously didn't get that far. So I'm hoping we'll have more conversations on Slack to, you know, start to iterate and some ideas around that. And so people will know where they can focus their conversations. Uh, so that what I'd say is probably in addition, and one of those conversations will obviously be the naming stuff. Uh, like what do we find as a name and what's, why do we think we need to do one way or the other? Um, any other thoughts where everybody's like, hey, what's, where's the group so I can get started already? Okay. Is there an IRC channel bridge to the uh, Slack for notary? Um, we did that with the open containers one. Um, we haven't done that with this one yet. Um, I'm not the one that would have the knowledge to set that up. Um, they nope. they, they uh, disabled the IRC bridge unless Matrix did something different. Back in the day, there was an IRC bridge to the CNCF. Slack, but it was like a third party plugin and they disabled third party plugins for security reasons. I don't know if now Matrix is an official thing, but they had, they had as a policy, disabled third party plugins for, for the Slack instance. Uh, so I don't know if and whether that's viable, possible. I won't just land it on Vincent because he spoke last, but does anybody want to take that up and if that, I, I'm curious if people found um, that integration being helpful or it's just like, that's the place I work. I'd like the information moved over because I know we're doing it with the open containers. Anybody have any feedback on that? No, I, I, Alexa did it for the open containers and he ended up doing it through some matrix plugin. And uh, it might've even, might even been a matrix fronted bridge. I don't remember how, how he wired that up. Um, I, I personally would prefer IRC all day over Slack. I don't think Slack is a good place for communities per se, but I know IRC has like learning curves. Um, Do you think you would be willing to set the bridge up for this too? 
I doubt Alexa would do it for this one. He, we, we, he's okay. He's, um, but it, it'd probably be worth asking him in the open containers channel what what he did to set it up. And because it does require something of the of the Slack admins, and that's like the CNCF Slack admin, so it's a much bigger umbrella uh, than OCI. Okay. Thanks. Um, there was two uh, two other items. Um, uh, so sorry, I was already multitasking on something else. So, so is there an action item for somebody to? look into that uh just to be clear you were talking about alexa um yeah i'm uh, i'll i'll ping like him on, okay yeah, yeah i'll ping him okay, on well, the, the open next. containers channel but uh if, if you're interested you i'd encourage you to search what's necessary because it would be a conversation to the admins all right thanks i know he's out for a couple of weeks so it might be Get behind, but okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm just sorry, who's taking action on that just so we can? No well, I will go ahead and ping him anyway. Uh, it sounded like Vincent was going to as well, but maybe one of us will hit. Okay, was that Ram? No, Serge. Oh, thank you, Serge. Sorry. I was just trying to figure out whose mic was open. Thank you. And I did just see the link that you posted. That's what I was actually starting to jump to. Um, was there some, so uh, Serge had posted the link on their Toes the Notary 2.0 stuff. There was, was there a new conversation there that you wanted to touch on? I'm just looking to see if there's any new notes in there. Search. You would you would put a link in there for Justin's doc, Justin's Google. Yeah. Was there a question you wanted to touch on, or? Well, I just want to. I mean, that, that's the one I, I read last week to try and catch up. I was wondering if there's a more up to date document, or if that's where we're all still at right now. Yeah. So we've started to put. So there's the there's the documents of conversation and this is where we don't really have a, a great place to do all of this. So there's these Google Docs, we've been having some conversation that we've been trying to take things that are coming to some consensus and putting them in the Git repos. So let me just put that in there. Uh, notary project requirements. I'll just put this here. This is where we've been kind of capturing um, results, I guess, if you will. Uh, I don't know. And Great. I'll look at that. Oh. Okay. Um, and then uh, there was another one. What was the other? Sorry, give me a quick moment here. Yeah, so we talked about the scenarios. So that's basically the current status. Um, the only other elephant in the room is the whole uh, meeting at KubeCon. Um, I don't have any update on it one way or the other. I can, I'm personally in the boat of I've, my flight's booked, everything's booked. And if somebody makes a decision one way or the other, I'll honor that. I haven't made a personal decision of what I'll do. Um, regardless, we will have some sort of meeting online or otherwise. Uh, so I don't really have anything to add to that conversation per se. Um, and that's really about all we've got at this point. So the, the next steps, like I said, are just to incorporate some of the feedback um, and then start to outline some of the smaller working groups <clears throat> that we can make more progress on actually doing some design work. So if there's no other questions or anything, 
we call that a week. Anybody else? All right. With that, I will. We will see you guys next week. I'm. I'm hoping we'll have more content by next week, uh, and working that working steps for the next steps. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.